Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, friends and colleagues from across the world. Today, for our first session webinar of the weekend, we have Dr. Lauren Berlin, uh, the famous Dr. Lauren Berlin. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. This is uh, this is really exciting. I've been dying to be on this show, <laughs> being part of the Podinars. And we are uh, very honored to have you. You are no stranger to the community. Um, people uh, know you very well. You're one of the most published uh, individuals when it comes to products and uh, uh, continuing education, as well as you have some exciting uh, projects that you have launched that I would like to talk uh, to the audience about. But uh, first, Doc, uh, we're going to do some housekeeping stuff. Uh, friends and colleagues, at the end of each podinar, there will be a link on the side where the comments are, where you can follow and register for your continuing education credit. And, uh, and we would have to follow up some steps there. Um, we will be following this up uh, uh, with more questions and answers. You can post your questions and answers also in the comment section. And uh, let's get started. First and foremost, I'd like to familiarize the audience uh, with you, Dr. Berland, uh, those who don't know you. Uh, Dr. Lauren Berland is an internationally acclaimed cosmetic dentist and one of the most published authors of clinical dentistry. With well over 100 clinical articles, the best-selling Lauren Library Small Style Guide, as well as the instruction videos, Dr. Berland has made a lasting impact on dental education altogether. Dr. Berland was the first fellow of the AACD included in the top 100 CE leaders for 19 consecutive years and was even recognized by the AACD for outstanding contribution to the arts and science of cosmetic dentistry. Dr. Berlin created the original dental spa concept, which I actually have a dental spa here, and I did not know that, and the multi-specialty group practice. His unique approach to dentistry has been featured in major national print and TV publications such as 2020, Time, Town and Amp, Country, uh, Reader's Digest and GQ, GQ, nice. <laughs> Dr. B began his career as a denture technician and after more than 50, 35 years of uh, listening to patients, he retired to start Dr. B Dental Solutions with a full line of products specifically designed to treat the common yet serious issues affecting the daily lives of people with oral appliances, oral infections and dry mouths, which are, uh, you know, uh, big problems that we have with denture wearers. His website, Dr. B, DRB Dental Solutions.com, is also a great source for useful information on oral appliances and hygiene tips for patients. Is a new, informative, uh, and interactive website uh, uh, connects people uh, with, that have missing teeth or terminal dentition with top dental professionals. All right, Doc, let's take a quick look at these websites. This is exciting stuff. You know, when we were doing uh, All on Four and All on Eight, we did a study and uh, somewhere along the lines, um, just out in the desert itself, we could fill up a couple of stadiums full of people that were uh, removable or full prosthetics. Um, I think the numbers are in excess of 40 million Americans. Is that correct? I would say it's a lot more. I mean, that's the last statistic and that might have been 10 years ago. And, you know, what people don't know how many denture wearers there are. Uh, it's not like they're taking a really great consensus. I'm a member of a lot of denture Facebook groups for denture wearers, and they're actually getting younger every year. And there's more of them every year, um, which bodes well for the future of um, implant retained dentures, whether they're removable or fixed. Um, but Dentures are, they're exploding right now. And there's a lot of technology in dentures. Um, the digital dentures is, it's going to revolutionize the industry and it's going to be a great uh, service to all these denture wearers out there. But there's a lot of reasons why denture wearers, the numbers are growing. And that's not just, I'm looking at some of your uh, products and you want to talk about this and how you came up with these ideas on, on, on better oral hygiene for prosthetic and denture wearers um so and that number is probably a, a very high on a global scale one can just only imagine from the first world you're looking at these kind of uh, numbers vast across the world 
What, uh, uh, you know, I have never had a situation where I could tell a patient to go to a website to gather up information and uh, interact with other professionals to have their answers, uh, their questions answered. And you have established that in the denture wares. How does one get affiliate, associated or affiliated with that? Let, give us a little bit more information. Uh, well, right now, since we're just launching, uh, we want to get as many dental professionals who like to do partial dentures, full dentures, implant retained dentures, and fixed hybrids on it. Uh, it's kind of, uh, it, you know, only the docs who want to do these procedures would want to be on the website. So right now, all you go to is for dental professionals and register. We're offering a premium membership right now up to a certain number for, for free. Um, so, yeah, this is the time to do it. And once you're a premium member, um, you can add your profile, put pictures, you can answer questions and ask the community, you can engage with patients. And, you know, you could put videos on there, you can put videos with your patients. And we'll be adding teledentistry very soon. And I'm very excited about adding teledentistry because, you know, there's no, no uh, group of the population that's more afraid to go see the dentist than the people who are um, toothless, semi-toothless, or soon to be toothless. I mean, there's, they, uh, they lost their teeth. They probably had them pulled by a dentist. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of reasons they have dental phobia. And now when you go into a dental office, you know, the dentist has so much PP. Ian, I mean, you don't know if you're seeing Hannibal Lecter or Darth Vader, but you can now do a Zoom interview with the doctor that you choose. And, you know, as far as dentures, it's one of the few things you can easily diagnose on a Zoom interview. They can just open their mouth and say, you know, they say, oh, well, yeah, I think, you know, dentures may be a good thing or a partial and, and, and you can see quay into implants. So, uh, you know, there's never been anything like this. This is kind of like real self for people who want partials, dentures, snap in dentures and fixed hybrids. I thought it was very brilliant, uh, given the amount of, uh, Dentalism that's out there and the amount of uh, lack of care that's out there for these patients to have uh, knowledge of their options and if they already have acquired a prosthetic of some kind to know how to best care for them and uh, and maintain them. Um, that's wonderful work that you're doing. What's your motivation, Doc? Well, you know, um, this is my 50th year in dentures. <laughs> I 50th year, I, I, uh, I come from a family of bad teeth and denture wearers. So denture wearers were always important to me. And I started at 15 working in a denture lab. And then I graduated into becoming like um, the personal denture chef of a doctor in Chicago. And this guy was brilliant, taught me a lot of things about dentures. You know, I'd be in there with the wax try-ins and I'd be schmoozing with the patients and fiddling with the teeth. And he really taught me uh, the denture, it's all about the wax trying. Uh, a, good, a good looking denture always fits better. <laughs> and, you know, take your time. And that was, when, that was really when I started thinking about smile design. And that's when I really fell in love with dentures because here I am, I'm a, I'm a teenager and I'm seeing these people taking their teeth out and all of a sudden their faces are totally different and then they put their teeth in and oh my god it's a it's a human being again and i just thought this is fascinating i mean this is this is the original plastic de plastic surgery because dentures you know plastic you put it in nothing changes a face more than dentures so you know then i went to dental school and i graduated from dental school at the middle of the you know, the cosmetic revolution of bonded porcelain and composite resin. But I, I always love dentures. <laughs> you saw all that, huh? Uh, that's great. So, Dr. B, you also advise other doctors about your experiences and things of the past. I, I believe I met you at a conference and I discussed a case with you, which uh, 
your advice actually helped resolve um, that uh, didn't come across my mind at the time. So, uh, uh, dear colleagues, if you have questions that uh, you want, you can reach Dr. Ber Berlin very quickly. He's uh, uh, very responsive. Uh, I'm very you... accessible. <laughs> <laughs> very responsive, and we really appreciate that. But uh, let's uh, let's get uh, on with the show and let's um, uh, have your presentation about all of these wonderful projects that you're doing that we highly support and uh, continue uh, growing this vertical. I believe that uh, your uh, information hub for dentures is going to be a big hit, it's much needed. And us as clinicians can simply refer our patients, even though we give them uh, pre-op instructions and post-operative care, and we go over consents and all of that stuff, I usually end up with some strange questions for four to six weeks or months into the into the project, and they are not as informed as one would think. Uh, so it would be good to connect them and give them this website and say, "Hey guys, you want additional information and you have questions uh, that uh, we can't readily answer." You can always uh, visit this website, learn new tips, new tricks, uh, and uh, and uh, uh, have a better quality of life. So with that said, go ahead. Can I add one thing um, about the DentureWare's website? Because I didn't include it in the PowerPoint. But um, as I was saying, a good-looking denture always fits better. And one thing that I've noticed and, and the the traffic on denture wares it's very big on the choose your smile section where we have a digital version of my smile style guide the 18 smile designs and three shape three length combinations of the six incisors and that really gets a lot of action and when you're doing your consultations whether it's removable whether it's a fixed hybrid whether it's personal individual teeth. It's, it's a great reference that's free and available to everybody. Just go to denturewares.com, choose your smile, and you can decide, you know, the different central, lateral, and uh, cuspid shapes and different length variations. So should I go into my PowerPoint now? Uh, yes, go ahead and please uh, switch. Okay. Let's see now, share screen, share entire screen, share, oops, uh, wait, maybe I go to PowerPoint first, sorry. No problem, take your time. <laughs> okay. okay. And let's see here, entire screen. I got it. Okay. And now PowerPoint. And go to slideshow. Uh, yep, that's it. And from the beginning. All Perfect. Right. You rock. I'm out of here. Have a good time. I'll be in the background uh, asking questions and things of that sort. Feel free to interrupt me at any time. Uh, I'm going to start out talking about Dr. B Dental Solutions. Uh, it's the best denture and oral appliance care system. It helps prevent oral infections, dry mouth, and sore spots. Uh, it was developed by a dentist, moi, and it's recommended by dentists. It's the only denture care system to be accepted by the American Dental Association. So I'm gonna go over um, three key points that I think are really important. Why teaching your patients about home care is so important. The best home care routine for each dental appliance and how to incorporate these solutions into your practice. You know, the truth is, um, our patients, they really need these solutions. I came up with all of these solutions by listening to my patients. I, 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 it took me almost 20 years thinking about it and another 20 years to develop it. Um, there's so many problems with 
removable oral appliances. They all get infected over time. Uh, dangerous pathogens from the gut, they colonize and thrive on appliances if they're not properly cleaned. Um, bacteria and fungi like candida, strep, staph, echinomyces, and E. coli. These are the major causes of thrush, pneumonia, stomatitis, chelitis, and digestive problems. And, you know, they, they, they're, they're on your appliances. And there's so much misinformation out there. People think they can use regular toothpaste on their dentures, but they can't. It's, it's too abrasive for denture material. It'll ruin the shine and the color of the dental prosthetics over time. But even worse, it causes microscopic scratches where the bacteria and fungi thrive. And how about all of the people now getting fixed hybrids, the all on X's? Uh, there's really not a toothpaste for them. Uh, the others are too abrasive. And if they're too abrasive, you know, the, the people can't even feel them. So they really brush hard and they usually continue with habits, possibly smoking, lots of coffee, and they stain even more. So anyway, we want to help prevent infections, dry mouth, and sore spots. And as you see, we get testimonials every day. People really love our products. Again, why do people need these, uh, these solutions? Well, there's a lot of reasons. One, Denture adhesives just don't work anymore. They don't stick. Uh, the, the active ingredient um, uh, on all the uh, commercial denture adhesives is zinc. That activates the copolymer and starts the retention. And a little bit of zinc, it's a good thing. But the problem with the denture adhesives is they depend on a lot of bulk. And then you, the patient would swallow the excess adhesive, and they would swallow excess zinc. And you do this on a daily basis, it causes Alzheimer's, neuropathy, senility. And I don't even want to tell you about the plumbing problems, both the patient plumbings and you know the, the actual toilet. Uh, <laughs> we have a lot of uh, nursing homes who go through our products, and they said that they've had a lot less <laughs> plumbing problems since they switched to our denture adhesive. So um, anyway, in 2010, the FDA made them take out the zinc or at least reduce it because it was causing so many problems. That's where you got the stereotype of the denture wearing uh, person as being a doddering old fool, you know, like on the Simpsons. It, it, it's kind of like the Mad Hatter syndrome in old England where the Mad Hatters went mad from all the mercury they were handling. Well, you know, people were getting senile and Alzheimer's from all the denture adhesive they were ingesting. Another problem is dry mouth. Medications, old age habits, they all cause dry mouth. And dry mouth is not healthy. It, it, it um, encourages bacterial and fungal growth, biofilm. Um, it's, saliva is important for digestion. And also it's very important for um, retention. Dry mouth is the enemy of retention. So most denture, all denture adhesives before adhesident dry out the mouth even more. As you can see, I mean, People say our products change their lives. And people are always looking for something new. So we combine modern science and time-tested natural remedies to develop a comprehensive oral care system to comprehensively improve the dental appliance and prosthetic experience. I mean, the truth is denture products have not changed in years. You've just got a soap cleanser that really doesn't work, and an adhesive that is less dangerous, but doesn't work as good anymore. The people needed more. Now, we incorporated different um, nutraceutical, nutraceutical uh, type materials like vitamin A, 
It's known to soothe the gums, help resist infection, promotes healing. Vitamin D improves bone density, helps reduce the chances of gum disease. Vitamin E reduces inflammation, helps promote healthy gums. Aloe vera is a natural antiseptic. It has antifungal properties, promotes healing. Coconut oil, it improves health. Uh, it's used to treat inflammation and bleeding gums. Tea tree oil promotes healthy gums, reduces buildup. And people prefer these products, and even more important, so does the ADA. So I'm going to go over briefly the products, and then I'll do it de in detail. The adhesive denture he adhesive, uh, as I said, we have a new copolymer uh, for a long, powerful hold. It helps soothe, moisturize, and refresh the mouth. We've got vitamins A, D, and E, and aloe vera. It cleans up exceptionally well. There's no zinc, no artificial colors, and no flavors, no artificial flavors. Now, this is a brand new product. <laughs> Clean and Dent Paste, it's the only toothpaste accepted by the American Dental Association for the entire mouth and dental prosthetics. There's never been anything like that. It's perfect for dentures, partial dentures, over dentures, and implant bridges, the all on X. It soothes, moisturizes, and refreshes the mouth. And we've got aloe vera, coconut oil, tea tree oil, vitamins A, D, and E, no artificial colors or flavors. And it just melts denture adhesive away from the mouth and from the denture. And it's safe for implants for over dentures. There's no fluoride. Uh, then we have the clean it and paste in a convenient prepackaged form for on the go hygiene. So when your denture patients, are out with friends, all they have to do is go to the restroom, pull out these little packets, clean their denture, clean their mouth, toss it in the, the, the wipes, and reinsert their dentures. Um, then this is, this is really important to everybody. This is a universal product for anybody with a removable appliance. Uh, liquid crystal cleanser. It's the only soap cleanser that kills candida, strep, staph, actinomyces, E. coli, and more. The major causes of pneumonia, thrush, stomatitis, colitis. Uh, you know, the other cleansers, they just, they just say they kill odor-causing bacteria. But liquid crystal is so strong, it kills, it eliminates odors, tough stains, plaque, debris, all in five to 15 minutes. And there's no harsh chemicals, no alcohol, no bleach, no chlorine, and no peroxide. So it will not dis discolor your restorations. And we pair it with the ultrasonic cleaner that patients just love. And this is the new denture and mouth toothbrush. It's got an ergonomic grip, it's perfect for seniors and people with limited dexterity. It's got a unique multi-layered bristle designed for cleaning ridges and implants. It's got a dual-sided head for superior cleaning of the grooves and the hard-to-reach spaces. And the extra soft bristles are safe for prosthetics and the mouth. So I'm just gonna go over the basic home care routine. And it's very simple to make sure your patients take care of their appliance and take care of themselves. Because if they take care of their dental appliances, those dental appliances will take care of them. So for all dental, all removable dental appliances, we recommend that to fully clean and disinfect and deodorize the appliance, they should soak it in the liquid crystal and the ultrasonic cleaner. And for denture wares, partial dentures, snap-in dentures, uh, we recommend at least twice a day to brush the dentures and the mouth with the clean dent paste and the denture toothbrush. And as needed, take the clean dent wipes for portable hygiene. 
when you're out and about at the restaurant office or with friends. I'm so glad now things are opening up again. And they can always reapply that he's an indentured adhesive as needed for retention. It's, it's very simple to train your team to discuss oral hygiene with practices. I mean, with your patients. And your patients really appreciate it because the better their appliances look and feel, the more they're going to wear them and the better they're going to think of you. Um, you know, the number one reason for lack of compliance on oral appliances other than dentures is people say they get kind of gross. We hear every time. So we basically have three systems depending on the appliance type. Um, the denture patient, the partial denture, and the implant retained overdenture or snap indenture patient, they can use all of our products. We have five products, six if you count the two sizes of liquid uh, crystal. And then the people with removable appliances, i.e. aligners, retainers, night guards, TMD, TMD appliances, airway devices. We recommend they use the liquid crystal and the ultrasonic cleaner. And people with um, fixed hybrids all on X, they should all use our cleaner than paste uh, and the, the only ADA accepted paste. And they might like our extra soft toothbrush. They also could use our wipes. Uh, a lot of people with all on fours, they catch, if there's a big flange, they catch food when they're out and the wipes are very convenient to wipe away food uh, at the flanges. So I'm just gonna go into some details about the liquid crystal so cleanser. Again, it's good for any kind of removable dentures, partials, orthodontic, retainers, aligners, airway devices, TMD, night guards, sports guards. As I said, it kills candida strep, staph, and E. coli. You know, this is really, really important. Um, denture wearers are twice as likely to have pneumonia and thr or thrush and or thrush as a non-denture wearer, and they're four times as likely if they s sleep in them. And why? It's because of these dirty dentures. And there's never been an OTC so cleanser until liquid cleanser that will kill these buggers. Um, the ADA did an article about me and these solutions when we first launched a couple years ago. And they talked about the liquid crystal because it's just so important to public health. And immediately after, I heard from a dentist in New Mexico whose mother had a severe stomach problems and the doctors couldn't quite figure it out. So she took her mom to the Mayo Clinic and they traced the infection to a thrush infection in her stomach or intestines and they traced it to her denture. And I also heard from a dentist from Seattle who told me that he always suspected that his father died 30 years ago of pneumonia, and he always suspected it was related to his old dentures. So, I mean, we don't even know how many people are suffering low-grade infections, um, low not living the quality of life they should, and are even dying because of their dentures. So this is, this is very important. Um, we actually came out with it in two sizes, the TSA compliant tra travel size, which is two ounces. It's good for 10 cleanings. And it's, it's great for giveaways whenever you give a any kind of removable appliance. And then we've got the economy, which is 12 ounces and good for 45 uh, cleanings. And it's really great, two to four squirts. Because it's a liquid, it dissolves instantly. It's very efficient. And for best results, we recommend you use it with the ultrasonic cleaner. It's, it's recommended, but it's not necessary. A plain bowl will do. 
And as you can see, I mean, every day we get testimonials like this, not just from patients, but from doctors, uh, everybody who's doing removable prosthetics, prosthodontics, and a lot of dental sleep medicine doctors have just embraced this. It's just a matter of try it, you'll like it. Um, let me go back. I just want to tell another story. A uh, very prominent uh, dental sleep medicine, Dr. Smith, Ken Smith, he's a friend of mine from Dallas. So when I first launched these products, I sent him um, the liquid crystal and I didn't hear from him. And about two months later, he tells me, hey, I got to tell you, this liquid crystal is really something. And I said, really? Tell me about it. <laughs> you know, I wanted to hear. We were just launching. And he had a sommelier, and who was referred by his physician. Um, and the sommelier worked at a very, you know, fancy restaurant in Dallas. And he made him an airway device. And he was tracking him, and everything was coming along well. Um, all the numbers were great. And the guy comes in like a couple months later. He says, Dr. Smith, I, 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 I know this is, this is working, but I, I can't sleep with this anymore. And, and Dr. Smith says, well, what's the problem? He says, well, you know, I'm a sommelier and I just, I, I can't smell. I can't taste like I used to anymore. And I'm, I'm, I'm working on memory and Kent, Dr. Smith looks in his mouth and he looks at the appliance and it, nothing really looked out of the ordinary. I mean, it was a little bit dirty, but nothing exceptional for a couple months or a few months. But he looked at the liquid crystal and he knows that a lack of taste, lack of smell, it could be a sign of an early uh, candida infection. And so he gave him the liquid crystal and he gave him the sonic cleaner. He says, you know, why don't you try this? It's a brand new product. And clean your appliance every night. Really take good care of your teeth and clean your mouth. And uh, come back in a month or uh, in two weeks. I don't remember. <laughs> and let's reevaluate this situation. And the guy came back. He says, Doc, everything's fixed. So that was when uh, Dr. Smith became a believer. And it's so simple. You just... Fill the ultrasonic cleaner with about two thirds of water. Squirt three to four pumps of the liquid crystal. Insert the oral appliance into the crystal solution. Close the lid and turn it on. Let it soak typically five to 15 minutes. If it's really dirty, maybe 20 minutes. Rinse the appliance thoroughly and you're good to go. Um, now I'm going to go over the clean -and done paste, which, you know, the, after we, we came up with the great denture adhesive adhesive dent, the number one problem people would say is, hey, how do I clean the gunk out of my mouth? <laughs> I hate the way adhesive sticks. And they didn't use the term biofilm, but they said, you know, all the gunk in there. So we came up with the clean -and done paste. It's the only toothpaste designed for the entire mouth as well as prosthetics and implants. So it's perfect for dentures, partial dentures, over dentures, and all on X. It helps soothe, moisturize, and refresh the mouth with aloe vera, coconut oil, tea tree oil, vitamins A, D, and E. It just melts denture adhesive away. There's no artificial colors or flavors. And, and it's, you don't have to be toothless to love clean it and paste because we have a pH of 9.5. So it's naturally anti-cariogenic. Um, again, people just love this stuff. And let, let me tell you a few things you can use this for. You know, when a patient comes in and you're going to be taking final impressions or, or you're gonna, taking records, something like this, and you tell them, do not wear denture adhesive for this appointment. And of course they come in with denture adhesive. Well, now you just hand them an extra soft toothbrush. Of course, I recommend our denture and mouth toothbrush and a tube of the cleaner den paste and you point to the bathroom or you point to the sink and say, get all that adhesive off of your denture 
and out of your mouth. And when you're all set, you just call me. And you'll hear in like five minutes, everything's cleaned up and they'll say, gee, doc, where do I get this stuff? My mouth feels fantastic. <laughs> you know, it's also good uh, for immediate pre-extractions because a lot of times people don't like to brush their teeth. Uh, toothpaste, you know, they're, they're sensitive. Uh, but because the cleaner dent paste is half as abrasive as baby toothpaste and the toothbrush is an extra soft toothbrush, um, and a lot of people will brush their teeth. This is what makes the denture mouth toothbrush special, the ergonomic handle, the ridge bristle design. It matches the shape and, and, and it follows the contours of the dentures and the gums and the implants for really good cleaning. And then we've got this precision bristle tuff. So you can reach hard to plate, you can clean hard to reach places on the denture, but in the mouth, it's really great to clean the palate uh, and the cheeks while you're cleaning the ridges. And it's really great to clean the tongue, uh, less gagging. Uh, their ergonomic uh, grip naturally fits the hand. It's, it's really uh, very comfortable and it's available in three colors. So, you know, I, I recommend people have one for their mouth and one for the denture. And the Clean-A-Dent wipes, as I said, these are just tremendous for hygiene on the go. Um, a lot of people wrap their retainers in them too when they go out to eat. Uh, it's fantastic when your, when your patients are out with people. Um, I'll tell you, we got an email and we've been hearing a lot from different people who use our products that they love to use the cleaner dent wipes to clean their dog's teeth. Uh, it's a bonding experience. So that's an off the shelf use for our cleaner dent wipes. As I said, patients, there's never been anything like it and they really, really love this. And the doctors, you know, doctors love to give patients stuff that the patients love and appreciate, especially when they can't get it. I know, I was a doctor. You know, people don't really care what you know. They wanna know uh, how much you care. And when you give them things to take care of themselves, when they leave your practice, or leave, they'll never leave your practice. They can leave your office, but they never leave your practice. And this is the new adhesive dent. By the way, we've got all new packaging coming out next month. This will give you an idea how it looks. It's pretty, pretty schnazzy. As I said before, we had a new copolymer for a powerful, long-lasting hold. It helps soothe, moisturize, and refresh the mouth. It's made with vitamins A, D, and E, and aloe vera. Uh, it's easy to clean. There's no zinc, no artificial colors or flavors. And I mean, people just love this. I mean, it's like I get I get emails from Doc saying this stuff is like crack. <laughs> uh, so why should you use these products in your practice? Well, you know, you make the best oral appliance and dental pr prosthetics. So your patients should have the best products to take care of them, you know, take care of your appliances and they'll take care of you. And the better their appliances look and feel, the more they're happy with their treatment and the more they like you as their dentist and recommend you to their, your, to their friends. And, you know, when you're doing dental sleep medicine or replacing teeth, it's a big deal. It's a huge deal. So it's important if you can give them products that are better, that are recommended by the ADA that they can't get anywhere else, uh, they really appreciate you. And you know, we, we make uh, post-treatment care and hygiene instructions available. Uh, we have all kinds of discounts. Uh, so why should you recommend it? Well, for one thing, it's the only ADA accepted system that was developed by a dentist, yours truly, and is recommended by dentists. Uh, we cover all aspects for denture wares. As I said, there's only two products out there. We have five, and these are five products that people need. And as far as the soap cleanser and adhesive, we're better. And we have all kinds of educational 
uh, materials, and they're perfect for giving out samples. Um, if you want to learn more about the company, go to the website um, or call, or you could always contact me, DRB at DRB Dental Solutions. Uh, I love to talk to dentists. And here's something that we launched because, you know, it's not easy to get our products. Well, it is easy. We're on Amazon and you can order it on our website. But we want to get people involved and people engaged with their dentists after the treatment is done. So we developed an affiliate program and we get a we prepare a custom link for your website that you could put in your dental sleep medicine section, your denture section, your fixed hybrid section, or in your dental sore section. And anytime anybody goes and orders our products from your website, uh, it's tracked and you get 18% of the gross sales. Uh, contact us anytime for samples and patient materials. Um, I didn't know I was invited to talk about denture wares until this morning. So I really didn't prepare a lot of slides there, but I invite you all to take a look. At, um, what happened is because I'm a dentist, we started getting a lot of emails and calls from our customers because they already trust us asking me to recommend a dentist. And that's pretty hard for me to do. So I would recommend that they would contact their local dental society, uh, ask their other doctors, talk to their friends, um, go to the internet. <laughs> and then the second question was, they would ask me about their treatment. Should they do this? Should they do that? And, you know, of course I can't do that without seeing them. So I would say, ask your dentist. <laughs> and of course, the next thing would be, well, can you recommend a dentist? So I knew that from my experience with denture wares, that there is not a central resource for people who are, you know, missing teeth, uh, soon to be missing teeth, people with terminal dentition, there wasn't an unbiased source for them to go for information. Also, there wasn't a place for them to ask questions among the community or to connect with the dental professionals, the doctors that can help them. And these people are, are as I was saying, they're the most fearful of going to the dentist and yet they need our help the absolute most. So we formed dentureware.com to fill in that gap, to provide unbiased information about partials, dentures, overdentures, and fixed hybrids. And most important, to connect the patient, the potential patient, with the doctors who can help them the most. And we're really excited about it. Um, we uh, will be adding teledentistry, which I think is going to be terrific. And right now, if you want to join, just go to um, for dental professionals and register and start building your profile. Of course, anybody who's not interested in full arch treatment, you won't want to be on this website. But once you're on this website, Get engaged, start answering questions, talk to the people, post your cases, show videos. And once it's on, it's there forever. And get involved once we add teledentistry. And down the line, we plan on doing podcasts with the most active dentists because that's who the public will want to hear. Um, so I'm very excited about this. Um, what else? Does anybody have any questions so far? I do. Fire away. <laughs> should I, should I uh, get off the screen and go back to Zoom? Yeah, you can. Uh, let's see. Let's get uh, control to bring us back. Hello? Stop sharing. Escape. 
And back to Zoom. I'm here. Okay, let's see here. All right, you're back. I'm back. Great presentation, Doc. Well, thank you. What sort of process do you have to go through to get ADA's uh, uh, seal that you have received? Oh, it's a, it's, it's a lengthy and time-consuming process. I bet. <laughs> you know, when I first started developing these products, it was like in the late 90s. And I really didn't know what, I, what to do. I mean, I had no idea. I was kind of working on them at home. And this is before the internet, or the internet was in its infancy. And as you can see, I'm still not so good with the internet. <laughs> So, you know, you'd have to go to the library, I'd research things, I'd contact companies who weren't very helpful. And, you know, it wasn't a full-time job. But when I started, I didn't realize that anything that has the term denture in it is classified by the FDA as a medical device. Whereas toothpaste and mouth rinses, uh, most of the time they're classified as a cosmetic. And I didn't know this. And I'm starting to work with local laboratories that are doing um, cosmetics and toothpaste and mouth rinses. And nobody's telling me they really can't uh, formulate these things. So I kissed a lot of frogs uh, over, over maybe a 10 year period. And finally, even though I kissed a lot of frogs, we were getting closer with all of the products. And that's when I realized when we we're getting closer, that I needed to have a medically certified laboratory that had done all the regulations for my products because they were medical devices. And that's when I reached out to the American Dental Association because by that time it was like, I had been working on them almost 15 years and I almost had everything, but I just had to have the right lab to finish it and also make it acceptable to release to the public. And I reached out to the ADA and they recommended several laboratories and they were very helpful, very helpful. I can't say enough about them. Um, and then, you know, I kept refining it with my patients and I would send samples to my friends and let them use it with their patients. And we always had a questionnaire as it would, as products would evolve. You know, they keep answering the questionnaire until everything basically said, great. And that's when we were ready to go to market. So the FDA is a, it's a very lengthy, it's a very costly uh, process. And all I can say is the ADA is a much more costly, <laughs> difficult process. I mean, you know, Polydan, et cetera, uh, their denture products don't have the ADA seal of acceptance, but all their toothpaste, their mouth rinses, their toothbrushes, they all have the ADA seal of acceptance, but the denture products didn't. And after I've gone through the process, I don't want to go through too many details, but I can tell you there's, there's reasons. I understand. But, um, you, you know, medical devices, FDA, it is a super bony uh, structure. It just touches um, gum tissue and teeth tissue. So it should be a little bit easier to regulate than things that are implanted in the human body. Oh, absolutely. When I say it's a medical device, I should have clarified. It's not like a medical stent or an implant, but it's still classified as a medical stent. Yeah, it's probably one of the easiest medical devices to, yes. to get FDA approval for. But that whole process, but you did your time, you invested uh, 15 years in gathering up what you needed, and uh, it's a legitimate uh, scenario that uh, is backed by research. So uh, I'm doctors will be apt to uh, promote it, and uh, I want, uh, I, let me rephrase, I would like to have some samples at the office, Dr. Berlin. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> We'd be glad to send samples. Anybody who contacts me will send them samples. Right now, we're only available in the U.S. and Canada, but we're getting a lot of uh, demand really all around the world. Korea, you know, it's a World Wide Web now, and people are hearing about our products. We're talking to people, uh, well, we're talking to customers all over the world all the time, but we're hearing a lot of interest from distributors and the UK, um, 
Brazil, Korea, India, Australia, uh, France, all over the world. They're starting to trickle in? Uh, well, as I said, right now we're only available in two countries, Canada and the U.S., but there's a lot of interest around the world. So we have a pretty uh, strong uh, foothold uh, in, in many of the different, vast majority of the countries out there. Um, when you're looking at having FDA approval and you have the ADA seal of acceptance, on the regulatory side, a lot of these countries are not as well regulated as we are in the heat to the ADA and the heat to the FDA and the heat to some of our regulatory agencies' opinions. So if you were to expand, and especially like in the countries like Middle East, uh, Latin America, uh, if you're uh, somewhere in Far East Asia, uh, you'll encounter less uh, uh, regulatory issues, but you'll encounter more uh, IP infringement. So uh, you'll have to make some decisions as to what you want to do, but uh, but yeah, if you got if you got regulatory in the U.S., the biggest market by a long shot, We're talking about forty percent of the healthcare market in the world, um, followed by Europe. No, actually, 30%. I mean this is this is a huge market because you know in a lot of places in the world there's a lot of denture wearers, but they're not really using denture cleansers or adhesives. No. It's, it's just a matter of introducing them. And I know what you mean about uh, regulations and IP infringement. So I know that there's a lot of people here from all over the world, and we are definitely actively seeking partnership uh, all over the world. I mean, you know, it's a, this is a global thing. <laughs> Dentistry is global. Yes, we're all global. We're all in this together. <laughs> yes, that's the, that's what the doctor doctor movement is all about. Um, so yes, uh, friends and colleagues, if you hear it, if you are uh, in any of these uh, uh, countries outside of the U.S., please feel free to reach out to Doctor Brun. How can somebody best reach out to you if there is a level of interest to either distribute for you or else you, or hold um, symposia for you, uh, uh, things of that sort. Well, the best way to reach me is through email. And then, you know, we can arrange calls, Zoom, uh, DRB, uh, Dr. B at Dr. B Dental Solutions dot com. That's my email. And I that that's my preferred method of setting up communications after that. Excellent. I'm going to put that in the chat area as well. And we're going to circulate it uh, around to our colleagues all over. I think it will be very well received. Dr. B at Dr. B Dental Solutions.com. And that is uh, posted in the, in, the, in the link. So uh, people that watch this afterwards or later can uh, also reach out to you and see if there's some opportunities uh, and uh, potential areas of collaboration as you expand your model across the world. Great. <laughs> Thank you so much. Dr. Berland, uh, it's such an honor to have you. I hope that you can come back uh, perhaps later this year or early next year to give us an update on your progress. Uh, uh, and we will continue to uh, support your wonderful projects uh, that uh, could benefit um, literally hundreds of millions of patients. Well, I'd love to get, you know, as many people who are interested in this kind of treatment on denture wares right away. And I'd like to, you know, I'd like to get everybody who's interested in our product some samples right away. <laughs> yeah, I know you're working now with Dentulu to bring in the teledentistry component. And that's lovely. Is actually yeah, I'm uh, very excited about that. Actually, I owe that to you. You introduced me. Yeah, he's, uh, this is a fantastic, uh, uh, he's actually, Dr. Uh, Hakimian is on the next podinar with uh, uh, Rebecca. Uh, they're doing a, they're, they're doing a segment, but uh, uh, it's Can't a great uh, move on your end. Uh, um, actually, you may also want to look into the marketplace that uh, Dr. Hakimian is working on. And he's uh, starting to get into uh, Latin America and other areas where uh, teledentistry is much needed. And I think for your operation, it would be tremendous if there was a click option where somebody could get on with somebody and have their answer to questions. They're specifically 
uh, 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 custom questions answered by another clinician. But we hope to hear more about that in the years to come as we work with you uh, and uh, our partners and affiliates and continue to support you in your uh, expansion operation. Thank you so much for joining us today, Dr. Berlin. No, no, no. Thank you so much, Dr. Shah. This has been yeah. a real pleasure. I on behalf I, of the... I had so much fun. <laughs> definitely. Likewise. And on behalf of the community, we'd like to thank you for what you have done for 50 consecutive years in the profession of dentistry. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Have a great day. You too.